I'm not used to speaking English a lot of time. Uh, what I wanted to show uh, tonight is uh, what I was talking about, what was uh, the, uh, my point of view starting now as an architect like uh, 12 or 13 years ago and what I've been doing until now and what uh, I think is now changing nowadays in uh, architect architectural design. Uh, uh, I think when, when I look back, uh, so that's pretty old, when I was really young, uh, that was uh, maybe my first work as an architect uh, when I was in uh, second year. Uh, I looked at fuzzy logic thinking how can uh, architecture be more like fuzzy, more like uh, not too straight like we were using tools, we talked about tools that were really straight, we didn't have a Rhino, uh, there was only AutoCAD, a really slow version, and what can we do more? Uh, the, the year after, by, by chance, Rhino arrived, and that's where I thought about Alia, which uh, is randomness, and how we can put randomness in, in what we do, uh, that was the next step behind Fuzzy, and that was with Rhino uh, version 3, and one prototype of a script I did, uh, which you can choose uh, and create randomness from almost everything. Then I did my uh, degree uh, 2007, which is quite a long time ago. Uh, in fact, I tried to do what Grasshopper now uh, does, and uh, Grasshopper arrived something like one month uh, before I showed this. So I was uh, a bit disappointed, but in fact, all the ideas behind my degree was how we can use Grasshopper. And right now, maybe 12 years later, I'm using what I've been doing at this time, but with Grasshopper. It was uh, all that we can see, how can we have constraints and choosing every time we've got many ideas and between ideas, how can we uh, succeed in choosing one path all along. Um, a little bit strange because right now I can do it at work really easily to do something like that uh, because everything is uh, so simple and so and so easy we've got tools and everybody uses it but what I want to look back 10 years ago is how the idea behind those tools because we must remember that Grasshopper is only a tool uh, Rhino is a tool, it's like a pen, where we can work with pen, and but what's uh, the main idea and how we can choose. For example, uh, the, the one of the first steps was to uh, create a volume from flat surfaces using acoustic software, and uh, I had to write uh, and spend, uh, spend a long, uh, long time uh, writing programs that can do uh, and choose the volume and the height uh, according to uh, acoustic uh, phenomena. And then again, uh, when I've got a volume, I need to choose how to extrude and to create a roof. And all those steps using, uh, it was the beginning of internet, uh, and choosing uh, randomly uh, a picture on, over the web and dividing it. Uh, modeling it to create, uh, to create a, a threshold uh, in the roof and then again using uh, Ecotect uh, software uh, that wasn't uh, much used at this time uh, to create uh, calculate a light inside the building. In the end, th this simple box was uh, my degree and this quite ugly pictures was the end of the result. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to show to my teachers at this time wasn't this. I almost spent, I don't know, 15 days working on that. And I spent uh, eight months doing that. And 
it was working, I could say I, I can create as many projects as I want, as many, uh, that's just one view. As you saw just earlier, there was many, uh, I could have shown, uh, I don't know, many possibilities, but the way I was working was, um, when I look now what I'm doing, is exactly what I'm doing right now. And when I, I speak about scaling up, the, uh, in my work right now, I can work at the scale of a town, uh, even a country. And what I'm, I'm showing you is a study I, I've done uh, one year ago. It's about carbon neutrality and how it interacts with my new projects I'm doing. Uh, just, uh, and just for the Parisian people, uh, what we've done, I've been uh, just voted yesterday as a pro climat the future plan climat of Paris and many of the ideas we, we had one year ago most of them are on the climat, uh, new plan climat de Paris uh, and what is important because when you are architect you work at your scale a building sometimes a bit more but what you do uh, has a huge impact uh, and when you think like creating a building you can't forget what you're doing over uh, at a much bigger scale. And when I did this, uh, this uh, study, I realized that uh, I had a huge impact all over the world. When you create uh, like a wood structure, you're doing compensation, I will talk about it just uh, a few moments, but you can't uh, forget what you're doing with your materials, with your building, and uh, everything. Uh, we had uh, quite a chance to have Robert Kins uh, giving us uh, some kind of text. Uh, Robert Kins, uh, I hope you know him. Uh, he was quite uh, happy with the, the COP21 as uh, maybe the, the main idea behind the COP21 would be that it won't be the, uh, it will be the people that will, that will change the world not states, not uh, the cities. And what you must remember is that we, civil society, we architects, can change the world. Because uh, right now, we can be quite pessimist about the world. Uh, I think that we have a child soon. So, so talking about that is quite uh, uh, sad. We don't know where we stop. Uh, this is famous. Two degrees is, is not really a limit, but uh, mostly a problem for the Earth. And when you building, uh, I discovered that uh, most of the time, when you building as an architect, you just look uh, maybe some, sometimes about electricity you're building. Or, but when you look at the world and how everything uh, functions, you must look where your energy comes from how you travel to your building, how uh, things that come to your building, like computer, where do they come from? Even as an architect, you should look how we hit. And, and then, when you got this huge package of uh, carbon consumption, how do I change my way of working? It's like using compensation, sequestration with trees, and using more uh, green energy. And just one thing like that, our work was only about Paris, but what we told as the mayor of Paris and what the main idea is, you must, even like Paris, must look outside of its own, uh, uh, of the, even Paris must look outside. Uh, here you can see uh, what, what carbon neutrality means. Right now, when you're building things, you've got uh, architectural design is almost this part of the, of the graph. You've got uh, heating uh, is a green part. So you must imagine that you choose three times a day what you're doing. Uh, uh, and it's quite even as important as an architect. And at the end, if you manage to create really low carbon buildings, you've got still a huge step to do as I uh, like transport 
and, and then you need really to look at the wood and the compensation. Just because uh, this curve might be like a, a consultancy curve, in fact there was a, a really great work on the algorithm that was quite uh, efficient because, uh, I will speed up quite a bit, um, uh, the, the algorithm could calculate uh, on one way how we can decrease our, our consumption but also how uh, people will live in uh, 2050. And we had uh, a, so, a, sociologue, a sociologist working with us uh, that, that create a story uh, about uh, people living from now to uh, 2000. 2050, and, and the algorithm behind all that could calculate both uh, uh, the decrease in your building, but both uh, how people would uh, will change their way of life. Uh, <coughs> here, I can sh uh, I show you just one family, which is a, a, a huge consumption family, uh, like. For now, a medium Parisian is about 10,000 uh, 10, uh, and uh, we had uh, like kind of an approach, uh, an engineering approach, but with uh, how to speak to Parisian. If I told you about that, is uh, because uh, when I did this research, I changed the way of thinking like my, uh, in my life, in my own life, but also how I do architecture. This is a, a, a gate we've done uh, uh, just at the end of the study. Uh, it's in Paris. Uh, and then again, uh, uh, I want to show some kind of work which are uh, uh, more like constancy, but also like uh, using algorithm and, and tools uh, I've created for this project, as we said just a few months ago, I wanted to do something that didn't, uh, that wasn't possible. Uh, it was to create a, a GIS, uh, uh, I'll show you at, at the end, and injecting data in, in a project to calculate the data you see here was uh, used to, uh, in an algorithm to calculate the consumption of energy of each building. So I could with a rival to create uh, scenarios of building, of buildings. I, it could handle uh, uh, different projects and different timing, uh, the planning of the project that, that will go until 2050. So I had to uh, do everything by myself and learn to create uh, my own script uh, from GitHub to, to export from JIS. And that's what it does now, and uh, uh, you, you've got a, a quite a mix between uh, an algorithm that calculates the consumption of energy and a grasshopper script that can translate uh, this consumption uh, into a scenario. What I wanted to show uh, is that I think right now uh, uh, I can see Far from Rome, I like from Donetsk, Susines. I, uh, I like to, I spend maybe one year doing scripts, and now I'm still doing it and creating my own tools. And, and I think people like you, um, you can create what you want, uh, even if you don't have time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time because uh, so I'm working uh, at night, and, uh, but I enjoy it, and that's quite fun. <laughs> See, I remember this, uh, the first time we met, it was uh, 2007, no? uh, so more than 10 years ago, and uh, you were like, uh, it, it was during my uh, so we. We graduated the same year. Uh, I was at the end of the year, and Guillaume, one of the few people in the room attending my diploma. And I was thinking, who is this crazy guy who's coming to this diploma? Because uh, it, it 
was kind of the moment where there were very few people in, in France and even less in Paris who were trying to, um, to, to just unveil the problem of computation already in the Without the program, and uh, I passed it this uh, question, and uh, also uh, <coughs> Philippe Morel and uh, other people, and it was quite tough to debate and to um, to defend the diploma on this topic already as um, uh, as a take on what is what is a.